Hey guys, it's Bang for Buck PC Gamer here. I just wanted to show off a piece of software called Asus Real Bench, and it's basically a stability program and a benchmarking um, piece of software. Now, I think this is pretty good for someone who's just overclocked their system. Um, I'm talking about the memory, uh, the CPU in particular, and um, also a small overclock on your GPU. This will run a series of tests, it breaks it down into four parts. Um, it starts off with image editing, which you can see it doing now. Then it will move on to H.264 video editing, video encoding should I say. And that's pretty much what your um, chosen software will be doing when you're um, rendering your video. And that's one of like uh, the most heavily uh, loaded pieces of uh, uh, benchmarking this software does when it comes to uh, CPU load. So. In general, when you're building your videos, it's one of the stressful things your system's gonna do anyway, so it's quite a good test to have. And then it also moves on to OpenCL. For that, it uses Luxmark, and uh, at that point, it will start utilizing your graphics card as well. So uh, it'll put a bit of load on your graphics card and your CPU at the same time. So it's a nice piece of software to just get a general idea if your overclock and your system's stable. Once it's complete, OpenCL will move on to something which it calls the heavy multitasking um, test. Um, at that phase of the video, um, you'll see the system uh, running a video and encoding a video at the same time. So uh, doing a bit of multitasking as well. So um, me personally, when it comes to overclocking, I would generally use uh, something like Prime95 or OCCT. Um, to do my stability testing but they're quite uh, dated now and it's nice to see someone come along with something well basically a bit more nice to look at and a bit more uh, up to date so uh, this is just a nice alternative I believe um, at the moment you can see the test is uh, doing the H.264 video encoding so that's what your chosen software would be doing like uh, Sony Vegas in my case I like to use Cyberlink Power Director so that's pretty much what this part of the test is emulating and um, as you can see if you look at my uh, if you look at the real temp software in the bottom left hand corner you can see my uh, CPU temperature uh, rising pretty high um, for anyone who's into overclocking and they've tried to overclock an Intel i7 4790k to 4.8 gigahertz they would know that you're gonna need some good cooling and it's gonna take uh, a considerable amount of volts to get there. I personally was able to stabilize my system with 1.3.30 volts and um, under heavy, heavy load, um, the maximum my system will go is about 83 to 84 degrees. Um, but in general, um, it won't go any, it usually stays in the low 70s when, it, when it's under heavy load when I'm in gaming. So uh, I know my system's real stable and um, it, my system's safe even though 84 degrees for a lot of people um, would be a bit worrying but uh, the Intel i7 4790K overclock does run pretty hot so you do have to have some decent cooling if you're going to try and reach anything over 4.7 gigahertz on it. So this is the part of the video where it starts using Luxmark as you can see my uh, GTX 980 Ti is uh, started to be utilized a bit more. It's uh, boosted all the way up to 1482 megahertz on the core and uh, it's starting to increase in temperature as well. Right now it's running at 67 degrees so it does put a bit of stress on your graphics card as well so you can use this as a bit of a um, GPU overclock stability test as well but I personally would uh, run some independent tests um, like games and uh, dedicated graphical benchmarks to do some real solid stability testing but this is just a good piece of software to get everything done all in one and I think um, Asus have done a good job of it so if you look at the GPU uh, the CPU load should I say as well it's also pretty much at 100% so um, at the moment this is probably where your power supply will be under its heaviest load because if your graphics card is at max load and your CPU is at max load then it's uh, it's definitely going to be off to ha need to be able to handle it so this is a good indication of if your CPU and uh, GPU are 
safe with the power supply that you've got installed in your system. In my case I'm using a Corsair AX860 so I, I know I've got quite a bit of headroom for overclocking so I know I've got no problem there. So it comes up to the end of the test now where it does the heavy multitasking part and it what it does it runs a video and it uh, does some video encoding at the same time as well so uh, it's going to put your CPU under some very heavy load and at the end you will see that you have a breakdown of benchmark scores it pretty much rounds up the video and then it presents you with an image editing score encoding score OpenCL score it will give you a heavy multitasking score and it will also summarize the whole test with a uh, system score so once this video finishes running um, you'll see all of those in the bottom right hand corner I do apologize if you can't see the text um, too clearly I'm running um, my system at 4k and to be honest it was the only way I was able to fit um, this whole test and all the other bits of software in one um, screen so if it wasn't for the 4k resolution I, would, uh, I wouldn't be able to show it to you the way I want so this is why I'm taking the time to try and talk talk you through the results as I see them so uh, the test is almost done now and um, for those of you who don't know my in-depth my in-depth specs I'm actually running a Asus Maximus uh, 7 Ranger motherboard and I'm also using 20, uh, 16 gigabytes of Corsair um, DDR3 running at 2400 megahertz so the test is completed now and I got an image editing score of 133,803 an encoding score of 103,880 an open CL score of 9,651 and a heavy multi multitasking score of 98,560 it's rounded all up with a system score of 88,898 now bear in mind this is a score with me recording with my system so I'm going to show you what my score is um, without the performance here and uh, you guys can share the results with me yourselves if you decide to run this test I'll put a link in the description uh, to this piece of software and uh, you guys can give it a go yourself and let me know what you got in the comment section if you wish